Hi and welcome to this episode where we are talking about the news in the Solidity compiler. Specifically in this episode, we are going to talk about pure view and the different to the old constant functions. Now the new version of Solidity is out 0416 and it introduces a couple of news. And one of the news is that they split up what was before the constant functions into pure functions and view functions. And pure functions are functions that are neither reading or writing to the state. So those are working exclusively with their arguments and returning something where they are not interacting with state variables. And view functions are, at least for me, what were the constant functions before. They are reading the state, but they are not writing the state. Then another feature which now was turned on in Solidity is the uh, turning on and off the experimental features with the pragma. So you can do pragma experimental and then the feature name to turn on experimental features. For example, the new ABI encoder version two and uh, specifically this feature can go into arbitrary uh, arrays, arbitrary uh, recursion of arrays. Now let's head directly into the difference between pure versus view functions. Now, as I said before, view functions do read from uh, the storage, but they don't write to the storage. And if we have a look at a very simple example, then we have now a new Pragma Solidity version 0.4.16 and a very simple contract. And we have some uh, state variable, some uh, storage state variable, some var, and it's true as a Boolean. And we have one function that says read from storage view. And this is a view function. You can see it here where we had previously constant and it returns one bool and it returns our sum var function. Now that is typically a view function and it was the constant function before. Now in comparison, a pure function, which doesn't read or write to storage. And we have again, a very simple example where we start with the pragma solidity 0416. And we have our contract. We again have the same variable but our pure function is not interacting with any state variables, with any variables in the storage. And it's only interacting with our argument here. So we have an argument uh, pool, another variable, which also returns another pool. And we have here our pure uh, function. We define it as a pure function here and we return the opposite of another variable. So if you have true here, we return false. It's just an example, uh, just to show you that this function will not return or interact with any state or storage variables. Now let's have a look at a practical example in Remix. Now I'm here in Remix and as you can see, if I make this bigger, then you see I started my new Solidity file with the new version 0416 and I turned on the ABI encoder and I'm not really using it, but I just wanted to show you what's happening right now. There's still a warning that this is an experimental feature and we shouldn't use it in live deployments. Anyway, I, I just wanted to show you how to use the new Pragma experimental. And now I have my contract, I have one state variable and I have one function write to storage. So if I call this function, then my variable will be uh, inverted. So if it was true before, it will be false afterwards. And if it was false before, it will be true afterwards. Then I have one old constant function which reads from storage and it returns my variable here, my um, some var variable. Then I have the two new functions. The one is view, 
which uh, also returns my variable. And then I have a pure function. And my pure function here has also an exclamation mark, a warning. And it says the function is marked as pure, but be careful, pureness is not enforced yet. So now let's try what's happening if I'm executing this contract. I have selected my Java virtual machine here and I just create the contract. See what's happening. Uh, read from storage is true. Uh, read from storage constant obviously is Boolean true. And uh, just a pure function, if I type in here true, let's see if this is working, it will return false. So it's not interacting anyway with this. And if I call write to storage, then it will turn those, uh, this sum war to false if it was true before. Now, let's see what's happening if I am actually interacting with my variable here. So that is the interesting part if the new uh, analysis or if if our remix will tell us that there is something wrong. Right now I can just very normal access uh, my somewhere from a constant function and write something and it will not complain. It will not show me an exclamation mark. Let's see what's happening. What happens if I'm doing that? So I have here my read from storage constant and it's not writing. What happens is that even though I'm having a write operation here, it's not saving it. It's just an in memory uh, overwrite and it will not affect my state variables and my storage. The same happens for the view that I can tell you ahead. Uh, if I create my contract and even though I write to the storage in, so I'm, I'm, I'm writing a storage variable, it's not saving it, it's just an in-memory um, in memory change of the variable. And if I am working here in my pure function with my uh, state variable, I return some more and I just remove this. Let's see what's happening. It will access right now my state variable even though it's a pure function. So in uh, future versions of Solidity, this will probably be uh, changed that it will not compile anymore if my pure function is accessing any state variables. But for now, it's still working. But it's very good to uh, adapt this behavior for your functions. If you have any functions that are actually not accessing uh, pure, uh, not accessing state variables, then give them the keyword pure so everybody, the compiler, other people, the interface, everybody knows what's going on. Thanks for watching this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, what you experienced, and also check out my courses for a more thorough experience on Solidity and Web3.js. And I'll see you in the next videos.